Hey, good morning. Robert Medlin here. You know, I woke up this morning and I was, I was just, the scripture came to mind. Present your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. This is your reasonable service. And it really struck me, you know, this is your reasonable, what, it's reasonable for you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. And so that means different things at different times to different people. Presenting your body as a living sacrifice. Well, as far as the Lord's concerned, your body is dead. Your flesh has no ability to save you. You know, you're, if you believe in Jesus, your sins are forgiven. Uh, he's living with you in, in your spirit, and both of you are inhabiting your body in this life. But, uh, but this body is, is, is flesh, and it, there's nothing redeemable about it. Um, so, you know, you're capable of doing anything anybody else would do, even the most evil people. Your, your flesh has that capability of not loving uh, and being evil. So, uh, but uh, there's a, but this scripture says, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Present them as a living sacrifice. Okay, I've got this body that can't save me. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, present it as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to the Lord. To the Lord. This is your acceptable service. So, okay, my job is to keep this body under control with the Lord's help and to fulfill his purpose for me in this body. Uh, that's my acceptable service is, is present my body as an acceptable sacrifice. Well, the Lord appeared to me in a, in a dream a number of years ago and gave me my, my principal calling. And that is, uh, he, he appeared to me and, and we were sitting at like a small uh, table with a light shining down over the table. And he had a yellow legal pad and he wrote two words, substitution and service. Well, I finally got what substitution means. I got more of it, uh, more of a full understanding that Jesus, that Jesus did everything for us. He came to earth in human form to fulfill everything for us. The things that God requires of Adam, of man, uh, to rule over the devil and to and to multiply and fill the earth, Jesus fulfilled that. Uh, he 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 fulfilled that himself, not for himself, but for us. He did it as a substitute for us. And then when uh, he died on the cross, he wasn't you know he wasn't dying for himself. He could have he could have called twelve legions of angels and been out of here. He wasn't in any trouble. He willingly submitted himself to the cross as a substitute for us. So when he hung on the cross, he was the innocent. He was the innocent uh, paying for the guilty. And so Jesus paid for us on the cross and, uh, and as our substitute. And that's so wonderful that Jesus did that for us. And then he, he died. He just, you know, many things that are kind of confusing about what happened, but it, apparently he descended into hell. He defeated death and hell, which we can't do. Uh, then he rose from the dead, which we can't do on our own. And then he ascended into heaven, which we can't do. And then he took his rightful seat uh, as our substitute on the throne of God. So Jesus is on the throne of God and he invites us. In fact, he tells us if you believe in him, he already sees you seated with him. You're already seated with Jesus in heaven on his throne and uh, ruling and reigning with him. So that's Jesus' opinion of you as as being your substitute. He did everything for you. And so we just, in thankfulness, we worship him. We give him all the glory because he did everything for us. So he says, look, I'm going to come to live inside of you by my spirit. And then, so we're going to do some stuff together. We're going to minister together. We're going to love people together. We're going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to do some, some wonderful things. We're going to, we're going to extend my church throughout the earth with the, that Billions of people are going to be saved. So I'm going to do wonderful things in you and through you by my spirit. And so uh, then he, so that's, that's wonderful. And that's our service. It's him doing stuff through us. Uh, it says that uh, we've been raised with Christ and seated with him up there. And so since you've been raised with Christ, uh, set your mind on things above and not things beneath. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. That's out of Colossians. The first scripture I've been quoting is out of Hebrews 12, but out of Colossians. Uh, your life is now hidden with Christ in God. And when Christ, who is our life, appears, we're going to appear with him in glory. So that's, that's our destiny. We're going to appear with him in glory when he appears. 
but he's living with us in this body. This body is is frail. <laughs> and uh, so Jesus took on a human body so he could carry our weaknesses and infirmities. And so uh, Jesus fulfilled his ministry subject to the same temptations that we are subject to uh, by the devil, by by the hardships. Uh, he, fulf he experienced those and overcame those for us as our substitute. So service. So, so our service is Jesus working through us to fulfill his purpose for us and his purposes in the earth. Um, and so another thing that he tells us, he says uh, that, that he wants us to, our acceptable service is, is to present our bodies as living sacrifices. This is our holy and acceptable service. Present our bodies as liver, living sacrifices. So uh, we're not to let our bodies rule over us and take and have dominion over us because the Jesus is living in us so uh, but we've got the authority to tell our body no and tell our body yes so so we we make decisions about what we want to do with our body and so uh, the Lord wants us to offer our body as his living sacrifices to him and to honor him because he's living in us and not get involved in stuff we shouldn't be involved in and to not have attitudes and and towards people that we shouldn't have, not to be uh, judgmental of people, not to be critical of people, not to be um, unbelief and in unbelief and, and trying to fulfill our desires through the flesh uh, in any area of life. And so God wants us to be, to fulfill our desires through faith in Jesus and his promises. So that's our, that's our living, that's, that's our acceptable sacrifice we present our bodies as a living sacrifice we subject ourselves to Jesus and his promises rather than subjecting ourselves to all the worldly passions and and fleshly things that uh, that seem right to us but we just trust that Jesus is in us he's 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 taking care of us he's in us he's in us you've got the the creator of the universe dwelling in you and so we can be at peace about what's going on and instead of criticizing people, we can pray for them. Instead of having bad attitudes, we can have good attitudes. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you that that you paid for me so that so it delivered me from all those nasty attitudes and stuff. I don't want to have any of that stuff anymore. I'm presenting my body as a living sacrifice to you. Rule and reign in my body, Lord. Fulfill your purpose. Fulfill your nature in me. Put your love in me. I want to just experience more of your love so that I can just let your love flow out of me unhindered and not perverted and twisted in any way because the devil's always around trying to twist things you know and spin them and make them look different and and uh, we start out with the right with the right motives and the next thing you know we're in pride <laughs> we fell out start out with the right motive of being in love and wanting to be forgiving and wanting to be gracious and we end up being critical well the Lord doesn't want us to do that he wants us to present our our bodies is the living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him, which is our acceptable, which is our reasonable service. It's reasonable for us to do that. We've been saved by the blood of Jesus. Jesus is dwelling in us. We're going to rule and reign with him forever. So it's our it's reasonable for us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. That's what the Lord wants you to do, is to think about that and to use that scripture. I believe it's in Hebrews 12 to 12, 1, I believe, to, somewhere in there, uh, to use that scripture to motivate you to let him live his life through you. That's our acceptable service. And to have let his attitudes flow through you and, and the fruits of the Spirit flow through you. Love, joy, peace, kindness, self-control, all the fruits of the Spirit. Let those flow through you rather than letting the flesh rise up. We got to operate in the flesh because we got to move from here to there. We go to church and worship. We, we we go to work. We do all those things in the flesh. But the Lord doesn't want us to be in the flesh with fleshly motives and attitudes, and uh, treating people horrible. And He wants us to to recognize that He's in us, and He wants us to serve Him by letting His nature flow through us uh, to other people and to be a blessing to other people. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you and have a wonderful day.